Hey guys, Mark here. Uh, I actually made a couple of different versions of this video previously, and I decided um, I'm going to try not to get on any kind of political rants in this one. I just want to break down to y'all uh, what's going and make sure that uh, the American people actually understand the full scope and magnitude of what looks like is going down in the Trump administration, uh, how it relates to today's new executive orders that were signed by Donald John Trump. Now, what he's done today, basically, is he's freed up the government to go ahead and complete these pipelines that were put on hold by Obama. Uh, the Keystone and the XL pipelines now have a green light um, to go ahead and keep on trucking. Uh, this is what I want to point out uh, to you guys. It is a couple of days ago, Donald Trump met with the CIA, and he was talking about Iraq and he just said he never understood why we went over there and we didn't get the oil. And he said, to the victor goes the spoils. You've heard this saying about war all the time. He goes, where are our spoils? He goes, well, we don't have any. And he goes, and you know what? That may sound awful, but he goes, you know what? Looking back, we should have taken the oil because you know what happened when we didn't take the oil? Now it's funding ISIS. <laughs> Right? So he says, we should have took the oil. So, if you guys go and look it up, I'm not going to go research the story for you on this one. Trump has dispatched another carrier to the Middle East. You won't see this on a lot of mainstream networks, but this is real. The George Washington is on its way there as we speak. Now, the day after that happens, Donald Trump signs two executive orders freeing up uh, these uh, pipelines, uh, these oil pipelines to get a heads up and go. Uh, just on a quick note, I have a lot of Indian ancestry in my blood. I have relatives who were slaughtered, and you know what? It is what it is. If he wants to build more pipelines to bring more jobs to America, and he can do it relatively safely, I personally don't have an issue with it. I don't really have a stance either way. I do joke all the time when I go to Walmart and everything's made in China and I joke around how it's so great that everything's so cheap because it's made by some five-year-old kid in China. It's not really funny, but that's kind of where we're at in this country right now. So we'll see what's happening and what's going to go on uh, with this Trump administration, but it looks like Mr. Trump is thirsty. Thirsty for oil. We'll see what happens. Leave me your thoughts. Y'all take care.